Hello and welcome to another session of triangles. In this session, we'll have a look at some more principles of triangles. There's something called basic proportionality theorem. Now, which, what is the basic proportionality theorem? Now, in a triangle, say ABC, if you draw a line DE, which is parallel to BC, that will divide both the lines AB and BC in the same ratio. That means AD upon DB will be equal to AE upon EC. Now, this is a principle that we use for any triangle if one line is drawn in between or externally even to any of the lines it will divide it in the same ratio let's have a look at another principle there is something called an internal bisector now what is an internal bisector now if an angle bisector is thrown from any angle to the opposite side it will divide the lines or the opposite line in the same ratio as the adjacent lines let's say there is a triangle abc now, from A, there is an angle bisector thrown on BC. So, AB upon BC will be nothing but BD upon CD. Now, this is an internal angle, internal angle bisector. Now, there is also an external angle bisector. Now, let's say triangle ABC. Now, at angle B, we have extended the line. So, that becomes an external angle. Now, if we have an external angle bisector, which is joining AC at E. So, we have BA upon BC will be equal to AE upon CE. Now, that is how an external angle bisector works. Now, let's have a look at another theorem which is generally used. This is called the Apollonius theorem. Let's take another triangle ABC and AD is the median on BC. Now, what does the Apollonius theorem say? It says that the adjacent sides which are AB and AC which do not have the median in it, if you square them, so AB square plus AC square will give us what? Two times the median which is AD square plus CD square. So, AD square plus CD square whole thing twice will give us AB square plus AC square. Now, this is the Apollonius theorem. Let us have a look at a problem now. In the given diagram triangle ABC and triangle DBC have a common base BC. XY and PQ are both parallel to BC. AX upon XB is equal to 5 upon 8 and DP upon PB is equal to 3 upon 4. So, if the le length of XY is 3.5 find PQ. Now, let us have a look at triangle. Triangle ABC has XY parallel. Going by what we just learned, XY upon BC should be equal to AX upon AB. We know AX upon XB. If AX upon XB is 5 upon 8, AX upon AB will be what? 5 upon 13, sum of the two. Similarly, XY upon BC will also be 5 upon 13. Let us have a look at the other triangle, PQ parallel to BC. Now, PQ if you go back, okay, DP upon PB is 3 upon 4. So, DP upon PB, 3 upon 4. So, DP upon DB will be what? 3 upon 7. This will be PQ upon BC. So, PQ upon BC, 3 upon 7. And the other one was 5 upon 13. Calculating, we can get PQ equal to 3.9 centimeters. Let's have a look at another problem. The sides of a triangle are 5 centimeters, 7 centimeters and 10 centimeters. Find the length of the median to the longest side. Now, let us go back to Apollonius theorem. What did we learn there? If there is a median, then the adjacent sides, which are what? AB and AC, sum of their squares will be equal to 2 times the square of the median and the half the other side. So, median square AD square plus half the other side, which is 5. So, 25 AD square plus 25, whole thing multiplied by 2 should be equal to 7 square plus 5 square. Once we solve it, we get AD equal to what? 3.5 centimeter. We've just had a look at how we use a Polynes theorem and basic proportionality theorem. With this, we cover the entire list. Now, we can go back and try solving them. 